In this video, we will focus on something that was introduced in ChartGS 3.4, which are the custom subtitles. So we had titles in our charts, but now you also can create subtitles, which are an extra feature for ChartJS. So let's explore how to do this, just like this here. In this video, we will focus on the subtitle plugin in ChartJS. So this is a very standard mini feature that they have introduced in ChartJS 3.4. So let's start to explore how we can do this. Now the first thing what we want to do here is to go to ChartJS3.com, getting started and copy this chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what is in here, just make sure you watch this video here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in all the code and I will cut out the subtitle and put it in here. And just as a quick note, if I save this and refresh, you will see we have everything here. And as a quick note, ChartJS has recently introduced ChartJS 3.5.1, where they solve some tiny bugs and some, some tiny adjustments. However, in ChartJS, and was, this was introduced in version 3.4 at the time, we go in here, let's see here on the configurations, we go here to subtitles, and in the subtitles, basically you could have your own plugin specifically instead of the title, adding a subtitle in here. So let's start to work with this just to create something small. All right, it is in here. And if you, if you pay attention on the namespace, it is in the options object and then plugins and then subtitle. So in the options, you can put in here plugins and then I'll make sure I put a comma here. And then here we say, subtitle and within here all we can do here is basically indicate what we want first of all do we want to display it yes or no and then a specific text so what we can just copy this for now there we are so display true and then text this will be our subtitle so to understand what we can do more with this we need to look here it will indicate as well so it says here the following, or it states here, exactly the same configuration options with title. So let's put in here the title as well. So if we select on title, we have here as well, same namespace, but then instead of subtitle, we indicate title. So what we could do here is basically another plugin, indicate title. Then we say here, comma, then we say here, display, true, comma and then here we could also have a specific text here this is our chart title so once we have this one here you will see here is a custom item here anything you have and you can align it and you can select whatever you want so let's save this first for now and just check how this eventually will look like and there you are you can see here this is our chart title this is a custom subtitle here. What might be useful as well is sometimes you would like to have something extra or you want to put it down so it will not interfere too much with the legend. In that case, you might say here position, top, you can see here, we can put it here. We say here, by default, it is set on top. We can put it on bottom. And then we can do the same here as well. We say position, bottom, and there we are. So make sure we have a comma here, save that, refresh, and there we have repositioned them at the very bottom. So this is a very small feature as currently I'll be making some more advanced topics again, but just with a tight schedule, I have some basic topics here for now. And if you want to go really deep in some other features, I highly, highly recommend you to really study this one here understanding data structures. With data structures, there are so many options what you can do and by studying this part here, you will see you can do so many extra things once you understand this.